Oh, what the heck? All right. Um, is anyone trying to see me now? Oh, there we go. All right, now. For those of you who you don't know, well, I'm sorry about that. I had to check the chat. Anyway, welcome. Today we will be playing one of the bad NES games that I've ever played. I guess you can tell this is based off the cartoon. And as you can see, um, I'm actually uh, very sustained about this game. So we're going to be playing uh, Rocky and Boingle for the NES, which is which is bad, and yes, you can tell. By then, I'm playing it on a site called RetroGames.cc, and it also has a one thing called Emulator JS, which is a thing, obviously. Yeah, this is on the right side of the category, all right. Or actually, hold on. There will be different versions of Rocky. We'll be playing every version of the Rocky and Bullwinkle game. Okay, now, uh, first off, we're going to start off with the NES version. Then we go to the SNES and Sega Genesis versions. And also, not to mention some unexpected things. Okay. Okay, now, uh, let's, without further ado, let's get this sh Show on the road, starting with the god-awful NES version. Alright, here we go. So, this is when THQ was really that bad. Oh, god. Wait, 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 just a second here. Rewind. Okay, it says, developed by Radical Entertainment Limited. You know, the same people who, uh, Actually, made Simpsons Hidden Run and Mo and a Monster Inc. game for you know the PS2 and such. I have no idea. It's a, yeah, I know it's since 1992, but if you want to go back, you can actually see it says Ward Productions Inc. That's when uh you know, classic media just preserved the 1997 uh, remasters. Of the Rocky and Bullwinkle TV show. And as you see it says. Licensed by MCA Universal Merchandising Inc. Which. Universal no longer owns them now. Because. It's now owned by Wild Brain now. It should say licensed by Wild Brain. If they decide to remaster the game. Alright. Whatever. Let's get this on. Hold on one second. Okay, these, these are the trashities, are the trash atrocities for the NES sprites of, you know, the two duo. I was like, what the heck? And I, and I was like, okay, that made me laugh. That made me laugh. 
All right. So, uh, yeah, and you can see their logo. I think they decided they do they did bad on you know remaking this logo. It's the Buen it's the logo from you know the Buena Vista VHS releases of the Rocky Mobile TV show. Yes, I can't believe this. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go check the chat. Mm, there's no one there. Okay, just me. Okay, but those designs, man. Holy crap, what are those? What is this? What is this? This is just completely weird. Alright, let me go to my phone. Okay, I'm going to be playing that moment on TV. This is taking a while for me to come back on this moment. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing this one and let's see what else it has to offer. Okay, there's the Radical Entertainment logo, the old one, right over here. As you can see, this is, I believe, made in the 90s or such. Yeah, because, you know, these people I never heard of. <laughs> yeah, I know. These people right over here. You see? It says, and the executive producer was Howard Phillips, which I never heard of this person. <laughs> Get our heroes to a long wolf mansion. Like take a screenshot of this. I need to take a screenshot of this. Hold on. Oh, the sprite, man. The sprite. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me bring this up. Uh, hang on. Um, <clears throat> I gotta do something. Uh, display capture. Okay, uh, this is display. Alright, okay. Now let me remove the window capture. Oh, hello, logo boy. Welcome. Okay, okay. This is what I'll doubt. The worst looking sprite of Bullwinkle I've ever witnessed. Like, w w w oops, didn't mean to draw that. Okay, hello. So, that is Bullwinkle and in NES form. That's honestly strange looking. You can actually see the sprite cut. Oh god, the sprite cuts in this. Oh god. What an absolute nightmare feel. And why has he got yellow eyes? Why does he ever have yellow eyes? The NES version is wrong. The NES version is wrong. Okay. 
Uh, let me do something. I'm actually running. Okay, that was a weird looking S. All right, let me. Okay, now I did the picture. Yes, this monster right here. The NES version. This sucks. Yeah, I know it's Windows 11. And you can see the background that I added. As you can see right here, get rid of NES Bullwinkle. Now, I'd like the Bullwinkle cartoon show, but... Yeah, you know. So, that is the NES version of Bullwinkle. Okay, why? Okay, why are you looking at me like that? Are you Sonic? Um. All right. For some reason, the music, the music keeps looping. Getting okay, Where do I have to pick up? Why did not for you? Really, you have to use down, pick up bombs. Strange, isn't it? All right. If I go select. Uh, Wait, hold up. Hold up. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. Oh no. Uh, oh, let me save this. NES Bongo Search. Okay, there we go. Oh, Rocky is worse. Rocky and the NES version is worse. Oh God! I'm screenshotting this. Mind if I'm gonna position it? There we go. All right, now um, we click on the picture right here. Oh God! I have just seen worse. Oh God! Why? Why? Okay, um, let me write something. Let me go to two here. This. Is worse. Okay. You see? Where the arrow was pointing at. You see where the arrow was pointing at. Yeah, I actually have a ThinkPad. Yeah, ThinkPad even has a ThinkPad. I remember a ThinkPad. Uh, it. Yeah, I use it my the ThinkPad for you know my school. Because why? All right. So you see this arrow where I'm pointing at. That's Rocky in the NES form. Oh god, I have seen worse this these days. Let me type it in next rock here. I wonder who thinking who's gonna be also very worse. If it was I'm gonna barf. I'm gonna barf. Alright. Alright, switching back to Bullwinkle now. Uh, why do
I'm screenshotting this. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's God. Oh, no. I think I'm gonna barf. Look at the sprite on this. Ugh. Give me one second. is really really not worse oh god i'm gonna give this guy a big i'm gonna give this sprite a big no no uh okay <laughs> there no no no! Alright. I wanted to do this for fun. Okay, I see the chat right here. Yeah, Boris Badanov in this version looks way, way worse. Ooh! All right, whatever, let me continue this. Okay, and I missed one. Why is he chasing me? versions of Rocky Mobile I've ever played. I keep on dying. I 
because the music keeps looping. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Rocking in ball twinkle. Rocking in ball twinkle. What is wrong with this? What is wrong with this? These look good. These look good. And these also look good too. You know? But why? Why does it have to, you know, look like those? Why? Just why? These are better. These are better. Okay, now. And also, this also looks good. Right there. Do you guys agree that these character designs uh, for the TV show are better? Alright, everybody agrees. Okay. You know, the NES version of Rocky Bowl Movie is bar by far, you know, the most worst game that I've ever played. Yeah, the worst version of Rocky Bowling Bowl I've ever played. I'm gonna give it a zero. Alright, let me go to my tier list. Tier list. Okay, let me make a template. Like I don't use tier maker because you know tier list eighteen hundred. Oh man! All right, let me make it a free one. Okay, so. This is not right. This is not right. Hold on, uh, give me one second. I'll be right back. Hold on, let me bring this. In the meantime, in the meantime, uh, Here. Stay what you are. I have to log into my Tear Maker account. Just hold on. It needs to need to log on to Twitter. Okay. Yeah, when all right, let me. All right, let me make a template. Let me make another template. Run. Let me choose a perfect template cover image. Okay. 
Okay, I think this will be good. Okay. Let me... Let me go back to path. Put that back there. Um, why is it saying web e? It's web. It's not web. It's not web page. Uh, okay, I think this should do good. All right. Choose the template cover. There we go. to choose a file. I really need you to save them. Um, well, let me get the... Let me get them. orientation I'll get the script tag and where was the Sega Genesis okay now let me choose files Okay. All right, click submit. Okay, now it's all done. Um, go ahead and remove. Okay, now it's time for the seer list. All right, all right, everybody. Uh, right now. What I'm about to do is put this on the back category, right here. Now, you can see it is here, right here. Okay, so, what the heck? Found the message. Oh, it's on TreeSeach server. Yes, I think we need to take a couple breaks in. Uh, I hope you have a great birthday. Okay, now this next one, this next one, oh boy, this is where good things are about to happen. It's the, it's the Super Nintendo version of the Adventures of Rocky Bull and Ghoul, yeah. It's really that good, I mean, I mean, it's way better than the NES version. Hold on, let me close down Lobes here so that it gets out of the way. All right, now, what you're about to see right now is actually very good gameplay right here. Well, let me close that out of here. Controls. Okay. Well, I need to figure this. Update. Okay. Now, are you ready for the big part? Okay. 
Okay, same. Now it says the copyright of 1993. It's developed by, uh, and it's not developed by Radical Entertainment. Thank God they didn't do crappy stuff to the game. It's a company by the name of Imagineering Inc., which is a company I never heard of, and it's located in New Jersey. Okay, so, let me, let's play. Now this was way better. This was way better. Right here. Great designs there, THQ. Great designs there. You're very good on this game and I like how you reference that intermission right here. I like how you reference that intermission. Let me type in something. Why, why don't I put an old O in bowling pool? Um, all right, let me get into some from YouTube. You can actually see, uh, you reference this with this, which, you know. It's great. I mean, I wish there are more references in this game. Okay. I right. back on the show. This has a great story mode. Story mode now kind of from like all the major events is about to take place the grand opening of actually see a Peabody right over here because, you know, it's one of the characters from the other segment, Peabody's Improbable History. Not to mention, you can also see Captain Peach Bud.
skipping cutscenes. That was unexpected death.
you know, since it is a little, a little hard for me, I'm putting this in a list. This is actually part of the amazing list, right over here. Okay. Now, I wonder what, what else could we do next? So, since I put the one, S Super Nintendo one on, you know, a thing right here. Okay, how about the Genesis version? For the one from Sega Genesis. You know, it has the same thing, just like the SNES version, but it's really that different. One of the differences. Okay. So let me adjust the controls right here. Okay, now, why is my Discord, uh, in? Oh, no, hang on, hang on. Anyway, um, what you'll see right now is differences in this game. Right over here. Alright, so. As you can see, it says produced by or under license from Sega Enterprises Limited. We can see that. But it actually it's under license, so we're produced by, because, you know. Note, this is not from THQ. Very nice looking logo, Sega. Okay, it's by a different company now. The company is called Absolute Entertainment, and it's basically, uh, you know, I remember one time where well, let me exit this power here. Honestly, hold on. This is a, you know, video game publishing company. And... and as you can see, they did Star Trek The Next Generation. A game based off the Disney cartoon Goofy. It's called Goofy's Historical World. Hysterical. I forgot. Goofy's Hysterical History Tour, which I never played yet. There's also, a, you know, a version of Space Ace, which, you know, is adapted into a TV show heard on Saturday Supercade. Home Improvement, which is based off the sitcom from, you know, Touchstone, which is now owned by Disney. And I believe I'm going to see it. Hold on. Um, hang on. Oh, looks like my, my good friend Michael Pollock got a job, which is nice. Alright. Now. Now we're about to see Absolute's logo right over here. Watch. Yep, that's the Absolute logo. Thank <laughs> you. 
Please, Philip added. Ah, uh, well. I still don't like Philip. Because, you know, he claimed I need, but I'm not going to say it. Okay. I think I'm putting this on a good category right over here. As you can see, because this is the, the different, you know, same thing, just like the NES version. Okay, last but not least that I'm gonna play is the Game Boy version. Which kinda looks interesting. Alright. <laughs> Okay, this is the copyright in nineteen ninety two and it's developed by the same developer who did the Super Nintendo version. 
of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Same controls for crying out loud. I don't need to do that all again. <laughs> say there's no and friends on the logo because you know okay Bullwinkle why are you uh, you have seen some why is your face like you have seen some crap or you're in Rocky Rocky is like uh <laughs> Super Nintendo and Genesis version, which, you know, okay, so, now I had to, you know, delete row, delete row, well, the Game Boy version, right here, is bad. This is what I don't doubt. So I have two bad games, alright, let me put this in good instead. Let me put this in good instead. All right, now let me save that. Video tier list. Gotta save that. Let me share this on Twitter. Um, let me share this on Twitter. Just... 
Oops. Let me tweak this. Okay. Seems like I'm done playing all the versions of the Rocky and Bullwinkle video game. Oh. Another pain. Son of a gun. Another pain. Son of a gun. Ugh. Okay. Now time for me to export the image. Download image. It's here. List. We already know that Coolio is Coolio just passed away, which is sad. Uh, how can I move my image? There we go. Now with that being done. Yeah, I know I died in this. Okay, now with that being done. I guess I did I check and let me check if I got all of the versions of the Rocky and Bowling game. Okay. One, two, three. Yep, I got all of them. I got all of them. So yes, as you can tell. The Game Boy version, the Game Boy version of this game is the same level design as, you know, uh, the Ren and Stimpy show Space Cadet Adventures video game, which is based off the, you know, the show by John K. Okay, the NES version only has five levels. Which is horrible. But, here's a good thing. It contains the Genesis and Super Nintendo version. Consists of seven levels. Not to mention there's also mini games. And two mini games, of course. Okay. There's a bonus. Game label still chipped up, friends. Example, WD Ring. I know it's so bad at that one. Well, good question, VGGA. I'll give you the reason why that the NES version of Rocky Bowling Club is bad. I actually need to copy this. Okay, there we go. Actually, I'll add the tier. I'll add the tier. Um, can I move down? Oh, wait, no, I can't. Uh, okay. I'm putting the Genesis version right in the amazing thing. Like, you know. Uh, you know what? Yeah, since I played every version, imagine there was an NES version of Cookie Mama. Good idea. Well, everyone, I guess that about wraps up, uh, you know, the first Toon Toontown Let's Plays episode where I played every version of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Ever. 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 Okay, so that's all the time we have for now. Uh, family game night should start in, you know, after men got out of school. So, yes. So, we hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, Let's Play video. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. See you next time, and may God watch over you.
or not. Until then, from me, Amy Jones, my partner, Gotchin Jones, goodbye.